Hey guys, Sub here and welcome to a brand new episode of The Dream. And this is basically a series in which I tell you guys everything I did to become successful on YouTube, all the struggles that I went through, all the hardships that I had to endure, and all the tips and strategies that I learned to become successful on YouTube. And no, I am nowhere near the best YouTuber, the, the most successful YouTuber out there, but I am grateful for the subscribers and the supporters I have, and I really want to make sure and hope that you guys get there too and you guys surpass me. So in the first episode, if you guys haven't watched it, we actually talked about one of the most important things that I really, really wanted to stress, and that's basically having no pride toward others when starting YouTube. Making sure that no matter how big you become, you straight up, honestly, treat others the way you would want to be treated, especially when you first started. So you can go ahead and check that episode if you guys haven't. But this episode is actually something that is really equally as important, <clears throat> and it's something that a lot of us are going to be going through. I definitely went through this and I'll, I'll share my story and this is something that a lot of us youtubers go through on it the big youtubers they go through this all the time and if you're wanting to make a YouTube channel or you already do I'm sure you guys go through this too and it's not the easiest thing to go through we're gonna be talking about haters haters honestly suck on YouTube it's it's, it's tough to deal with them when I first started my YouTube channel you know the dislike bar and the like bar? I remember my first video, I uploaded at night, I came to school, as soon as I came back, excited to see my first YouTube video, all the views and everything on it. Oh, nice views, then I go to the dislike bar, it's like a red lightsaber, it's like straight up all red, maybe one or two likes, but the rest is all dislikes. My first video, and I kept on making videos after that, and I kept on getting dislikes, and the comments were even worse, from racism to about my family, and it just kept on going on and going on for every video I made for the first past couple of months when I first started. So imagine me going to school and coming back from school and seeing all these hating comments on my videos every single day. It really sucked and it really really was hard to get past that fact. It really was hard for me to accept that haters are going to keep on hating no matter what. And that's something that I really want to stress to you guys. A good friend of mine told me this. Haters just mean you are doing something right. It can't be more true than that. Haters just like to criticize you and they just like to make you stop. Now one thing that I learned from YouTube, especially from the haters, is haters are my motivators. Yes. When haters in my videos when I first started said, you're never going to get 1,000 subscribers, you're never going to get over 2,000 subscribers, you're never going to be successful on YouTube, you're not going to go anywhere, just quit now, you suck. I would get those comments all the time. And you know, after, after the depression that I used to go through, all these hating comments and whatnot coming back from school, I realized. Haters just mean you are doing something right. I gotta use these haters as my fuel. So I laughed at the comments. I'm like, you know what? You can go ahead. You can go ahead and hate. Just wait till I'm successful. I'm gonna prove you wrong. Make the haters your motivators. That's what you gotta do. Without the haters, you're not gonna you're not gonna grow. You need the haters because they're your motivators. And that's the way I look at it, and I really hope that's the way you guys look at it. And honestly, if you accept that fact, and you know what, you know what the best part about haters was for me on YouTube? The support. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. When I first started YouTube, obviously the hate was a lot more than the, the support I got, right? But the best part, and one of the best parts I've ever dealt with on YouTube, is when I got hate, and somebody actually supported me and replied to the hating comment, and actually gave them awesome, awesome, awesome replies. And that really made me happy. So for everybody on YouTube, everybody who already is on YouTube, everybody who is inspiring to be on YouTube, to become a commentator, a vlogger, or whatever you guys want to be on YouTube, or anything in life, just remember that hating is common. It's going to happen. I still deal with hate haters all the time on my channel. All the time, it's crazy. I even had people make like Twitter accounts just hating on me. But don't use that as depression. Don't use that to let you down. Don't let the haters get to you. Prove the haters wrong. Fuel, make that fuel, make the haters the fuel to make you even bigger 
and inspire people and just keep on doing work. Haters just mean you are doing something right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you ever had haters on your YouTube channel. What did you guys do to deal with them? I use them as my fuel and that really, really helped me. But I know other people use haters as different, different type of things that help them grow on YouTube. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any stories about haters and what you did to maybe convince the hater to be a supporter. Maybe you replied, gave them a nice comment and they apologize. It happens all the time. Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you guys thought this advice was nice. And I definitely will be making a lot more videos for you guys, telling you guys other tips and strategies. And yeah, don't worry, we're going to get to the tips and strategies. This video is kind of about the ethics, but I promise you, we're going to learn how to title your videos right, how to get the tags on key and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Dream. Thank you guys for the sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more. Click get more views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click get more CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel and click get more music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show also on Freedom. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it. And we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Now